you know how Hayao Miyazaki officially, finally, really, 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 really actually retired after he made The Wind Rises? Well, he's making another anime film. Yeah. Uh, but this time it's a 10-minute film for the Ghibli Museum and will be made entirely in CGI. So computer graphics. Ooh, yeah. This will be Miyazaki's first all-computer-generated anime film. Now, in fairness, Miyazaki officially retired from feature film directing and said that he would be, you know, doing other things. So this is not a huge surprise. Uh, though, of course, he also said he retired from feature film directing with every film he's made since Princess Mononoke back in 1997. But, you know, oh well. Uh, so he has al always said that he'll continue working on animation until the day he dies, and I believe him. Yes, go for it. <laughs> the Boy and the Beast. Yes. The latest film from Mamoru Hosoda. Hosoda. Hosuda. Premiered in Japan last week. Strongest opening yet from the maker of Wolf Children, Summer Wars, and The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, earning $5.4 million in U.S. Uh, in comparison, Wolf Children made about $4.5 million, and Summer Wars made $1.3 million. Hmm. Uh, the Boy and the Beast even sold out uh, Terminator Genesis. Nice. Uh, Funimation has already licensed the film and plans a theatrical lease, <laughs> lease. <laughs> release in North America next year. Cool. Um, at San Diego Comic-Con, uh, a manga won a prestigious Eisner Award. Um, the manga is called Showa by Shigeru Mizuki. It won for Best U.S. Edition of International Material Asia. It beat out All You Need Is Kill, which is a novel, um, in clothes called Fat, Master Keaton Volume 1, One Punch Man, and Wolf Children Ame and Yuki, the manga. Uh, you might recognize Shigeru Mizuki from his earlier work, Onwards Towards Our Noble Deaths, which is a satirical take on Japanese soldiers' lives in World War II. Um, Showa is a two-part manga history of Japan that spans 1939 to 1953. Um, if you, um, Onwards Towards Our Noble Death is available in English here in America, which is why I mention it. And, Definitely worth checking out. Kodansha USA has announced that it will bundle an original anime episode along with a volume of the Attack on Titan manga. Wow. Uh, this limited edition of volume 17 of Attack on Titan will include a half-hour episode named Ilse's Book. Uh, notebook. Ilse's Notebook. Uh, it's a side story set before the main story of the manga, and it will be subtitled in English. Cool. It was re released in uh, 2013 in Japan with Volume 11. Mm. Uh, the practice of bundling anime with manga is common in Japan, but uh, this is the first for an American release that we're aware of. Cool. Yeah, so. that's pretty interesting. I mean, imagine shrink wrapping manga and anime together. It's, it's, it's a brilliant cool. idea. Yeah. They should do it more frequently. I, I, I think so. I'm sure it'll be more expensive, but hey. Um, <laughs> that crate will come with yeah, exactly, yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, I actually wanted to see if I could get a quick thing of uh, uh, of this because this is really cool. So, um, there has been a, a a finally a an American release of the Rose of Versailles. So, yeah, I wanted to, wanted to get some a little image there. Very colorful. Yeah. So, Udon Entertainment has licensed the pivotal manga series, The Rose of Versailles. This is arguably one of the most important shoujo or girls series ever made. Uh, the manga will be released as a two-in-one omnibus volumes starting in the second quarter of 2016. The manga was originally released in 1972 and features cross-dressing and strong female characters in the court of Marie Antoinette, so hmm. France. Uh, the manga inspired the similarly pivotal uh, Rose of Versailles anime series in 1979, which is also available on DVD and streaming in North America right now. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. And Yu-Gi-Oh! fans, rejoice! Yay! Crunchyroll has started streaming the first five episodes of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Monsters, subtitled in English and completely uncut. Wow! Uh, this is the first ever uncut release of the first Yu-Gi-Oh! series outside of Japan. <laughs> New episodes will be added monthly. Sweet! That's pretty amazing. Kickstarter! Yes! The Essential Otaku Guide to Tokyo Kickstarter has sadly stalled out. Oh. 
The project will fund uh, a digital and uh, physical guidebook to otaku in sites in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. uh, they only raised uh, $1,380 out of the $4,000 that they needed with uh, eight days to go. Mm. Only $10 will get you a digital copy of the guidebook. So. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and but, it's called what? The Essential Otaku? The Essential Otaku Guide to Tokyo. All right. So, Fair enough. Somewhere on Kickstarter? Yeah. Yeah, take a look. Uh, my Otaku Brain Trust Anime Convention Kickstarter is also stalled at $350 out of the 5300 needed to fund my intellectually focused anime convention in Virginia for February of next year. It ends in just under two days. So that might end up getting reworked at some point. Uh, sadly, Fred Finale oh, of yes. Melbourne, Fred. Australia. He didn't get the $78 US uh, that he needed despite mm. the last minute pledge. Uh, his Kickstarter ended at only ten dollars. Uh, his Kickstarter, as you may recall, mm. would uh, fund his plan to watch ten anime series nonstop over forty-eight hours. Uh, despite having never seen an anime before, he's going to attempt that. But yeah, I wonder uh, if he'll try it anyway. I, I would hope so. I, yeah. I, I think he would enjoy himself. Mm -hmm. even if he doesn't get all the energy drinks he needs. <laughs> <laughs> I would say watch a 10 anime series, maybe not nonstop over 48 hours. Yeah, break Just... it up a little bit. It makes it more enjoyable. <laughs> exactly. Meanwhile, the Asterion French-Japanese interactive anime series is now at only $23,400 out of the 151000 they need by the end of July. That's only about 15%. Um, staff members include a Studio Ghibli alumnus and several other anime staff uh, from... Such distinguished works as Michiko and Hachin and the Lupin the Third Fujiko Mine series. So check it out, Asterion. Then moving on to the anime releases of the week, starting with Pony Canyon. This is going to be expensive, guys, so buckle up. Uh, Denki Guy, which is an anime series set in a bookstore about kind of the wackiness that happens in bookstores. Cool. Uh, Collector's Edition Volume 3 Blu ray DVD combo pack. It's four episodes, uh, so episodes 9 through 12, plus a CD, booklet, and posters will retail for about $72. Mm. So it's expensive, it's limited edition, collector's edition, um, and that is sub only. What's happening in Funimation world? Well, Funimation has One Piece Collection 13, nice. and that's uh, 25 episodes, and it's retailing for only 18 bucks. Nice! Wow, that's less, pretty good. Less than a dollar an episode. And uh, One Piece has also got uh, Season 7, Part 1, uh, and that's 12 episodes, and that's 26 bucks. Not bad. And yeah. so to be clear, folks, that's um, uh, Season 7 Part 1 is the more recent stuff. Collection 3 is the older episodes, so you're kind of catching up. Sweet. Um, Media Blasters has released Super Robot Wars OG, a.k.a. Original Generation, the TV and the OVA complete collection. I actually couldn't find out what episodes are in this. They didn't mm. list how many episodes complete. are in that's, each one. That's, so, it, that's everything. Yeah, it's huh? everything. I don't know if it's a 12-episode TV series or 26. I don't, I don't know. Mm. I couldn't, couldn't find out. Uh, it's only 23 bucks, though, subtitled. Now, for those curious, uh, Super Robot Wars uh, is the uh, Japanese video game series where they have like every mecha series ever all oh. in one thing. Um, if you like robots. Along with original characters. Now, for the uh, anime, they couldn't obviously license all of those things. So it's just the original characters from the show, but there are lots of fun mecha archetypes in there. Everyone, you'll recognize everyone. I'll put it that way. How about NIS America? NIS America has a lull in the sea. Speaking of which, yeah. <laughs> volume 1 DVD, and that's 13 episodes. And they also have Volume 2 mm. uh, DVD, uh, another 13 episodes. Uh, each of those has going for about $38 a piece. Not bad. Meanwhile, Sentai Filmworks has released Is the Order a Rabbit? Complete Collection uh, on DVD and Blu-ray. It's 12 episodes. Uh, on DVD, it's $33, and on uh, Blu-ray, it's about $39. Oh, that's only a few bucks more. Not bad. And then uh, the Familiar Z of Zero F Complete Collection, F as in familiar. Uh, on DVD, it's, again, 33 bucks, and on Blu-ray, about 39 bucks. Uh, 12 episodes each on those. Fizz. Yes. Fizz Sailor Moon R, yeah. Season 2, Part 1, DVD. Mm -hmm. Also the same thing in Blu-ray and DVD combo. Nice. And a Blu-ray DVD combo limited edition. Ooh. Uh, the DVD is 25, the Blu-ray DVD combo is 55, and the limited edition 65. Not bad, not yeah. bad. Cool. Thanks to AnimeNewsNetwork.com and the DVD Talk Forum 
for the links and information in this week's news. That will do it for us for the week. That's the news for the week. Thank you all for joining us. Take care. See you next week. Thanks a lot.